Hi everyone, Larry Sanchwell here at the Bird Feeders again. A couple weeks ago I released a video on cleaning and maintaining bird houses, and that's kind of controversial. Some people say not to clean them, other people say to clean them out every year, and some people say to clean a blue bird house after every hatch. But I don't think there's any controversy about cleaning your bird feeders. South Carolina recently told everybody to take down their bird feeders because I think it was a sisal wobbler was migrating through and a lot of them were dying because of uh, infections they were getting at the bird feeders. I think, I thought most of our pine wobblers were gone, but as I came out here to do this video, there was one on the upside down uh, suet feeder. So it's really important to keep these things clean. A few days ago, I uh, started making this video on- Hello everyone, Larry Satchel here with a little follow-up to the peanut butter feeder. We haven't changed the jar in here for several times because we've been using this Kroger Crunchy. I had a question the other day that I don't know the answer to, but it said, isn't peanut butter for human consumption too salty for birds? Well, this one has roasted peanuts, sugar, contains less than 2% of molasses and fully hydrogenated vegetable oil, rapeseed, cottonseed, and bon uh, soybean oils. And the last ingredient is salt. If it is, please let me know. I'm just still learning. And I noticed at the time it was pretty dirty, but I didn't think much of it. So I went ahead and filled it and filmed a few pieces, a few birds on it. And that's when I saw the notice on the internet that South Carolina had told everyone to take theirs down. So I think it's a great idea. This is quite dirty. I stopped by the dollar store yesterday and got another one. And this is not the best peanut butter for birds. It's got a lot of uh, trans fat in it and uh, soybean oil, but it doesn't contain any palm oil. And that's the one that's important. I also had a viewer recently, what I thought was a great idea. She said, why not mix the bird feed with the peanut butter and get twice as much? So I'm gonna do that. I'm hoping I can do it without heating this peanut butter. I'm going to add some peanut butter to this cup. These are mainly black seed sunflowers. And I'm going to mash them up with this potato masher. Maybe. Yeah, that's working. Mix them in there well. Add some more peanut butter. More seeds. And just for good measure, I'll cook the inside of this with seeds. That looks pretty good. This is pretty well mixed up. Before I brought this up here, I already punched a couple of holes in the bottom with a nail. So it is ready to go back on there. And then I've got all this to put in there later. But before I put it back on, I have a mason jar here with a quarter cup of uh, Clorox in it. And it's probably stronger than it needs to be. But before I put that back on there, I'm gonna give this raw wood a thorough cleaning. Well, I don't want to get this all over my jeans because it'll probably stain it. Saw my first butterfly in the garden today. I was really surprised, actually. Probably just ruined this shirt and pants, huh? Well, that should do it. I'm going to let this sit out here in the sun. Although, it looks pretty overcast now. It's sunny when I started. And let it dry. And then I'll put a couple of new suet cakes in here and reattach the peanut butter cup and put on some more video. 
of the birds enjoying this simple little peanut butter cup feeder. Thanks for watching.